Okay, so in this video, you're not gonna be able to see me because I don't have anybody to film while I show you guys, but I'm gonna be showing you my apartment. Um, it's very small. It is a one bedroom apartment in Los Angeles. It's only 700 square feet. Um, I have a lot of stuff, so it was a challenge um, making it work, but I made it work because you guys know apartments are very expensive in the Los Angeles area. I'm not going to, you know, disclose exactly where I live or exactly how much I pay, but it is over $2,000, um, well over $2,000 for this tiny apartment, but it is what it is and um, I made it work. That's what my budget was, so let me show you. I've lived here for about 10 months now. Um, it took me several months to get the place together, but let me show you. So when you come in the front door, this is my dining area over here. I don't have much of a dining room or, you know, dining set. I just have these two um, bar stools here and these black candles. And then I have this wall um, shelf. I guess this is a floating shelf. Um, it's anchored to the wall. And then I just have uh, these cute little, um, I don't know, I guess it's like candle holders and vases that I got on Etsy that I have on here. I have some cookbooks, I have wine glasses, and then um, more books. These are like drink making books and then an hourglass and some random stuff. Um, the Lucky Cats here, and then I have some china on the bottom. And then I have my vacuum here. And then I have all of my alcohol and mixers and everything here. This is not actually an alcohol rack. This is four separate um, racks that I bought from Ikea and put together. And I just secured the alcohol on here so it won't fall off. I used some chicken wire and some um, silver zip tie. So um, I made it look as decent as possible with what I had to work with. Let me stand back a little bit so you can see. And then I have this artwork on the top. And um, this I believe I got from Home Goods. I'm not gonna go over every single thing. Um, and then also I have this Prince artwork. This was a gift from my mom. Um, she got it from a local artist. And then um, on my door handle, I have these bells and a cinnamon broom and over here, this is my tiny kitchen. Um, very, very small kitchen, but I made it work. Um, on the counter, I just have my Echo device. I have all of my um, Echo devices um, like connected and connected to my alarm and everything. So it makes the smart home easy to use. I also have um, Wi-Fi light bulbs so I can turn my lights on and off uh, via my Echo devices, which is nice. Um, I just have my calendar here, some wine bottles here. These are some orchids and um, this is a candle. These orchids are actually in bloom. These actually just finished blooming so they probably won't bloom again for like five or six months. This is just the sink. Um, I did change the, um, the faucets on the sink because I wanted them to be black. Um, I just thought that would fit the aesthetic more. And um, over here, just my little makeshift um, coffee station, my Nespresso, and then I have my pods in this very large mason jar, and then my Tarani syrups, and also my milk frother, and then I just have my air fryer, and my kitchen aid. I use all these things all the time. And then my rolling pin in the back. This tall thing right here, the black one, is a wine opener. It's an automatic wine opener. It's so easy to use. And then I have my knives. Also, this backsplash was not here um, when I rented this apartment. It's actually like the, um, the kind that you just like stick onto the wall and it's supposed to be able to um, be removable. We'll see whenever I move from here, hopefully no time soon because moving is a pain in the butt. But yeah, I did this backsplash. Um, I did this backsplash myself 
and I also paint it. I don't know, maybe there will be another video on what I did, um, but you can see my cabinets are mint green. They actually were not mint green when I moved in. They look like something out of a hospital or I don't know, they were just disgusting. So my cabinets are mint green with black hardware. Um, on my stove, I just have these three pots that I use all the time. Um, it's October, it's fall, so I switched them out. Um, during spring and summer, I usually have like some teal um, or mint green or pink or, you know, colors appropriate for the season. So I do switch these out throughout the year. My little towel um, on my stove, it has a peach cobbler recipe that I got. Um, I think I got that from Target. And over here, this is just my microwave. I have some cereal bowls, coffee mugs, um, some other mugs here. This cute little skull glass that I got as a gift from my mom. And then I also have this um, little thing that I use to make tea. And then I have my cereal in these airtight canisters. And um, yeah, I have Fruit Loops and I have oatmeal. And then over here, I have um, my oils, my cooking oils. This is um, olive oil and then chili oil and then uh, my cooking vinegars. And then I have my salt and pepper meal that I got from Le Creuset. Also my honey pot from Le Creuset and also the utensil crock as well. And these are my various utensils that I use while cooking. My toaster, I actually love, love, love this toaster. I ordered it from Home Depot. It was $100, but I think it was well worth $100 because it's so cute. It has like the retro look, um, which is really what I'm going for here. Um, this, don't mind this stuff. Um, I got these popcorns from the farmer's market earlier today. And then this little tray is just a little pumpkin tray. Um, I'm filming this in the fall. I don't know when this video is gonna go up. So it may not be October anymore when you guys see this, but it's October right now. Um, so I just have this little pumpkin tray with some bananas and some red velvet cookies. And then I have my Vitamix over here, which I use all the time for smoothies. And then this is the side of my refrigerator. I have all these magnets um, just from different places that I have visited um, on here. And then I have this quote. Um, it says, your wildest dreams all have a chance when you dare to try. And then um, this just says, my boring, beautiful life. And then these um, Care Bears, I have two. So this one and then this green one up here. I actually, my grandmother bought me those when I was like, I don't know, five or six years old. I had them for years um years and years and then also this garbage pail kids i probably got that when i was about five or six years old too and i found it in some old stuff that i was going through um in my childhood room um i found it and i definitely had to keep that so i framed it and put it on the fridge and then um on top of my refrigerator i have this pot that will not fit um in any of my cabinets it's like a a huge um like restaurant size pot it's a love crusade it's called a goose pot and it makes like 15 servings in the pot and then also i have um these individual dishes i have um also my tea kettle up here and then this elephant um i got when um, I think I was on vacation in the Dominican Republic and I got that, I thought that was just so cute. And then also over here, I have um, just some, um, I don't know, I think that's a KitchenAid um, attachment for my mixer, some magnets, my rice cooker, and also my oven mitts. This artwork, um, I have, well, I haven't had it. It was actually my grandmother's. I inherited it from my grandmother. She passed away um, some years ago, but I had purchased this for her. Let me zoom in, in, zoom in on it. It is just a black woman cooking um, 
and I bought one for my grandmother, one for my aunt, and one for my mom, and all three of them had like a different one, like a similar one um, in their kitchen. So um, now I have it, and um, my mom still has hers in her kitchen. My aunt still has hers in her kitchen as well, and I probably bought this for all of them like 20 years ago. So that's something really cute that I just wasn't willing to get rid of in my cabinets. Um, just have glasses, glass straws, bunch of coffee mugs. Um, I think those are, I don't know if those are whiskey, no, it's brandy glasses. And then um, that is my, um, my, I don't know, my tumbler for my smoothies if I'm gonna take it with me. And also my um, flask for my coffee if I wanna keep my coffee hot. Um, if I to go somewhere with it. So that's it um, as far as inside this cabinet over here. What's, oh, this is just like plates and uh, china and mixing bowls. Really pretty stuff in here. So um, yeah, that's what it is. Um, this plastic Super Bowl cup at the top. Um, I know it looks out of place, but it has like sentimental value um that cup was actually my grandfather's cup that he drank water out of every day um he passed away years ago like 13 years ago but like every day he would ask me to go and fill his cup with ice water and after he passed away i kept it and yeah and i will probably hang on to that um forever but yeah that's why i have this old like plastic Super Bowl cup amongst all of the cute stuff that is in my cabinet. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. This china is so beautiful. It's vintage um, Noritake china and I have a bunch of pieces of it. Um, that I showed that in a video like years ago, so I'm not gonna go into it, but yeah, that is what is in this cabinet. This cabinet is horrible. Like, oh my God, look at all of this shit in the cabinet. Like, oh my God, like, oh my God, oh my God. Like, I need to do something with this. Um, yeah, I need to do something with this. So that is what is in here. So that's it for the kitchen. I know people usually show you what's in their refrigerator. I don't know if mine is clean. Um, well, it's not too bad. So, um, I know people usually show what's in their refrigerator when they're doing these tours. So this is what is in mine. A bunch of bullshit, basically. Um, so I went to the farmer's market earlier and I bought a lot of stuff. Um, so there's like some fresh fruits and just different stuff in there. Um, and then this rose lemonade, I'm going to make a drink with this later. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys. I'll show you guys that later. And then the date, I usually write the date on here because I take my eggs out of the regular carton. So I write the date on there so I know the expiration date. And then I just have a bottle of champagne, um, water. There's fresh fruits and veggies, more fresh fruits and veggies and some lemonade drinks um i really don't drink a whole lot of soda i just have pine pineapple juice sparkling water and then um italian soda um this is just condiments that i have this is like yogurt cheese coffee creamers all kinds of stuff in there um this i don't know a bunch of junk this strawberry soda i'm gonna make um i bought some strawberry ice cream so i'm gonna make floats with that more fruit here and then on the doors and this is what i got um and on the other side this is what i got so yeah um that's pretty much it for my refrigerator let's close this and move on to the rest of the house so in the living room, this is a utility closet. Not gonna open it, it's just a bunch of junk in there. I think cleaning supplies and stuff like that. It's a very small closet. And then 
I have a huge Monstera plant um, on the floor. And then um, this is a lamp, like just a column lamp. And this is my clock, isn't that cute? Another elephant, I collect elephants. So you'll see many, many elephants throughout the house. And then I have this skull. I've had this for years and years. Um, and then this table, it has like all of my fish food and medication and everything for um, my beta fish. I have three beta fish. This is Picasso right here. I don't know where he is. Um, if he moves around, I'll show you guys him. Um, but I don't know, sometimes he hides in his little cave or whatever but i'll show you guys if he stops being shy but yeah this is picasso and then i have another one i have goldie and i have juju so i will show you guys the rest of them later um this is a record player it's actually an automatic turntable um the record that i was recently listening to this is uh dr dre the chronic um i have mostly vintage records i usually i don't buy um things that wouldn't have like released on vinyl uh, when they originally released so i have just this very small collection um don't really have a lot the only recent one that i have is beyonce but all the other ones are probably from like the 70s 80s and 90s or before i have like james brown digital underground etta james prince um, too short, Marvin Gaye, um, you know, whatever, but I'm old. So you guys, I, I don't have anything recent. Um, as far as that, this is my TV. It's a Samsung frame TV and I have the zebra, um, on here, but you can change it. You can change what that looks like. And then I just have, um, this art around the TV. I'll move in closer so you can see. These are just agate stones and it's the same thing on the other side. And same thing for these, they're in a shadow box. And I have another one over here. So it's the same thing. And I got these from um, Home Goods um, probably about a year or so ago. So yeah, I got these from Home Goods. And then um, this African statue I got from, um, where did I get this? I don't know. I'm thinking where Wayfair. I don't remember. And then um, this test tube vase I got from World Market. And this is just a bamboo plant. Um, I have many, many plants here. Um, the whole apartment is pretty much full of plants. Um, this thing I think I got from Home Goods, and then this elephant I got it in the Dominican Republic. Here's another huge Monstera plant, another skull on the bottom, a Galileo thermometer, um, some more just random stuff over here. This butterfly is actually a real butterfly, it's basically a taxidermy butterfly, and I have three of those. I'll show you guys the rest of them a little bit later and yeah that's it and this is another column lamp these look really cool when they're on because you can change the color of them let me show you guys really quick what they look like when they're on alexa turn on the lights okay okay so you see i have them blue right now so um that's really cool oh and picasso decided to come out of hiding so let me show you guys this is Picasso. He is a beta. Um, he's really beautiful. I named him Picasso because his coloring reminded me of a Picasso painting. So yeah, this is Mr. Picasso. And then um, let me show you guys um, this area. So this is like the bar area. I have these three bar stools that I got from Wayfair and then on the counter I have another beta this is Goldie let me show you guys him this is Goldie I named him Goldie after um, Max Julian in um, the Mac 
You can see the front of his face is gold and there's a little bit of gold on the bottom and he just looked really fancy. So I named him Goldie. Um, and this is a Bio Orb Aquarium. Um, really, really love this. Um, these are from, from the Tabitha Brown Target collection. Uh, the vase and also this, the vase filler, I think I got from either Amazon or Ikea. Flowers from Trader Joe's. I have to get my flowers every single week. Aren't these gorgeous? And then this is a Monstera leaf I'm trying to propagate. And then um, this is just a skull with an air plant. It's in a yoga pose. I thought that was really cute. Another plant here another plant here this is a jade plant and then there is a money tree here and that's just my security camera fire extinguisher and then over in this corner i have this artwork i got all three of these in a set from world market um i thought that was really really cool i was kind of going for the jungle type theme in my living room area I think you can tell this is another bamboo plant this one got so freaking tall it was really really small when I got it but look how big this thing is like it's gotten like it's gonna touch the ceiling in a minute um these African statues I got from I don't remember where I got these but these were actually like hand carved in Ghana and I ordered them but I don't remember what site and then this is my um my shark teeth my Pisces candle I'm a Pisces I got this um from I forgot but um I'll try and link it below if I can remember the company but I ordered it from France um it's really really beautiful and it smells really good it was kind of pricey i think the candle was like 130 dollars, but i don't think i'm gonna use it this is also um a taxidermy moth it's a luna moth and it's on the moon card and um you guys know the moon card represents pisces so the shark teeth the candle and the moon card this is my little like pisces area anyway um these are some books um on my bookshelf this thing right here is a plant mister this is a seashell one of my co-workers years ago got this for me when she was on vacation um i believe in cancun um so i've had this like 10 years this um more books some candy um this is actually a Russian um, nesting doll and it um, it was a gift, but um, there's I'm not going to open it, but there's like eight or nine smaller ones in here. But this is like a, a OG, like original one. Um, you can buy like replicas of them, but this one actually did come from Russia and it has the artist's name signed on the bottom. Um, and I've had this for years and years. Um, over here, I have another Galileo thermometer. I have a giraffe, this cute little elephant lamp. This is an oil diffuser. And then um, that's pretty much it. This um, is an air purifier. This is just a little pool where I keep my laptop. This is a column um, floor lamp. And then we have my sofa above the sofa. I just have these palm, um, I guess it's palm tree art. And then it's my sofa. It's teal, fun pillows on it. And then this is my table and I just have some candles. And then this little, this is like a fruit bowl. Well, it was called a fruit bowl when I ordered it, but obviously I didn't use it for fruit. I used it for vase filler and then some books and this jack, um, which was a gift. Um, under here, I just have my um, crystal sound bowls. And then um, on this side, I have my trays that I use for eating. I only have two of them. Um, I don't really have a bunch of people over. So yeah, I only have two of those. This rug, it takes up almost the whole living room. 
the living room is fairly big it's a huge rug i think it's like i don't know i think it's like eight feet by i don't know i don't even want to lie so but it's it's huge i think it might be like eight feet by 10 feet or something like that. It's really, really big. So um, I got this rug from Wayfair and it was on sale. The rug was like $600 and it was on sale for like 350. So I got a great deal on this rug and I really, really love it. I know it's colorful, but everything in here is pretty much colorful. So it ties everything together. And then over here in this corner, oh, this is my fan. I thought this was super, super cool. This is like a vintage style Vornado fan. And I just have some books on the floor, another table, another plant. This is a ginseng ficus. Um, it's getting really, really big. It was small when I got it. I believe I got this at Ikea, but it's getting really, really big. And then this is a really pretty lamp. It's a peacock. I got this from Target. And then here's my other beta fish. His name is Juju. Oh, there he is right there. Um, Yeah, he is a Dumbo ear beta. I think that's what he's called. And yeah, his name is Juju. And he's just hanging out right there, seeing what I'm doing. Um, I don't know if he thinks I'm gonna like feed him or change his water, but he has the biggest personality. Every time he sees me, he comes over like, I guess to greet me or to see what I'm up to. So anyway, this is Juju. It's my little work area. I do work from home. So this is my little desk. I just have a regular desk chair. I have this mat on the carpet so the chair, so the wheels don't ruin the carpet. And um, and um, yeah, this is, this is just my little work area. This lemon is from the Tabitha Brown collection um, with Target. I put it here because if I'm like upset during my work day, then I always think I need to turn my lemons into lemonade, so that's why i have it there and then i just have some like random random stuff um and that's it also i have this artwork this is an elephant i told you guys i love elephant so it's basically three panels that make an elephant over here i don't know who the artist is but these are some really gorgeous black women um had to have these and they're like right over my work desk this is the door the balcony i closed it because um i don't know i just don't want anybody to try and figure out where i live and if you open that door you can kind of see outside and you can see the outside of the building and you know i don't want anybody trying to put two and two together and figure out where i live but anyway um, yeah, this is a chair. This is a poof under the chair. I have a pillow. It's like my meditation pillow that I use. Um, and then this basket just has some blankets in it. Um, it hasn't gotten cold enough to like cuddle up in a blanket. Um, it's usually hot in California until about late December. And then over here, I have another plant. And then this little thing I got from Home Goods, and then this is another taxidermy butterfly. I don't think this is a butterfly. Actually, I think this is a moth. Um, and then this is a money tree that has gotten so big. This money tree is probably more than four feet tall now. It's sitting on the floor, but look how big it's gotten. So um, I got it at Ikea. It was actually dying and in really bad condition and I thought I could save it and I did and I saved it and it's gorgeous. Um, these pillows I got from Target. Um, this is just a bar cart with some stuff on it. Um, just some alcohol and mixers. It's mostly my tequila that I have on this bar cart and like some mixers and everything else. I have it on the other rack by the door. And then I just have some glasses, a few bottles of wine, um, some Dom P, that was a gift. Um, and 
another monstera plant this one was struggling i actually thought it was dying but now there's like new leaves and it's starting to grow again so we shall see and then this little thing that i have on the floor right by the balcony this is my fireplace it's a gas fireplace so um you don't actually put firewood in it you just um turn on this little switch on the wall and the fireplace comes on which i'm not going to turn on because it's hot today um but yeah that's my fireplace and then you guys know this hear no see no speak no um so i got this i thought it was cool uh cute little monkeys and then um skull this is really really pretty i got this at um home goods you guys know i really love skulls and butterflies so that is what that is um and that's it as far as the living room area so i'll try and give you guys like a picture so you can see an overview and then through here um this is my closet i'm not going to open it because it is a mess um it's supposedly a walk-in closet but it's super small and i have a bunch of stuff so it's completely full um this is my bathroom let me turn on the light so you guys can see artwork that i have i ordered this um from a local artist really really love it um i think these are gorgeous and then my bathroom is very very small so i can't really do much walking around these are just some decorative towels i don't use these they're marble and then um behind the door i just have my robe my bonnet and shower cap hanging behind the door and then this is my mop this abyssal steam mop and then i have my trash can my towel warmer a can of lysol and then on the counter i just have my diffuser another echo device um my smell good thing it's a wallflower from um bath and body works and then these are just my products that i use every day toothbrush deodorant other stuff um cups that i use for mouthwash in the corner i just have um my little plastic containers that i have my flossers and cotton pads and stuff and then um i have just my hand soap my smell good stuff a candle over here just more tissue on the floor and yeah that's pretty much it this container has the flushable wipes um i did install a bidet on my toilet um judge your mama not me but yeah i did install a bidet on my toilet this is my bathtub and shower it is very small you can actually take a bath in here but it's super super small um this is a white shower curtain that i got from target um and i did change this shower head it was different it was just a regular one so i did change this shower head when i moved in i thought this one was really cool um and just my products over here not too much i just have um what do i have just some dove body wash some facial scrub some dr bronner's honey pot shampoo conditioner exfoliator and then also um my trader joe's body scrub and then over here i just have some hair products and that's it and then um oh this artwork i got from home goods it's a shadow box i think that's gorgeous here i just have some here i just have some candles incense sage and bunch of other stuff and then this cabinet has all of my products in here and then i have a scale under it i don't know if i want to open this i don't know what's in here i might edit this part if it's messy mm, well it's not too bad so this is just a bunch of my my products in this cabinet and down here more products um I have a blow dryer, flat irons, um, pressing combs, hot rollers, 
um and then down here is just more products i am stocked up on products um yeah okay so that's it for in here so in the hallway this is just um where i keep my my makeup and perfume and everything this is just a bunch of lipsticks um this is a a lighted mirror um and over here is just some jewelry i have this other skull that my mom gave me um this is an acrylic case it's just full of makeup like tons of makeup in here this has like a bunch of lipstick and perfume and all kinds of stuff on here um yeah and that's that's pretty much it um as far as that and now let me show you guys oh this is my security camera some artwork um this cabinet just has like um towels it's basically the linen closet towels and then extra shower curtain liners um and that's it bedroom it's my bed um it's a queen size bed i originally um was gonna order a king size bed but it doesn't fit in this room it's too um the room is so small that the door barely closes with the queen size bed in here so a king size bed wouldn't have even fit in the room um this is my bed i think it's really really pretty um this was actually made it was hand carved in vietnam i think this is beautiful um i really really love this and then on my nightstand i just have a lamp um it's a pineapple that i got from target like a glass pineapple and then um another echo device and some books um a pen and this light it's like a night light um that projects onto the ceiling it looks really cool at night and then this is just some spray that i use for the bed like when i make the bed it like really it smells really fresh and everything so i spray it on the bed every day and then under here um i just have all my remotes and ignore that yes i do sleep with a machete next to my bed um like i said before judge your mama not me and then this is a diffuser and then over here these are a bunch of shoe boxes by the bed um this is a pillow um when my neck is hurting i use this pillow it's like a contoured pillow and also i have this pillow that i put my leg over um when i'm like uncomfortable so i have a ton of pillows and stuff to make myself comfortable and um okay so this is what i meant about the door so you see when the door is open, there's literally only like three or four inches of space between the bed and the door. So that's why I couldn't get a bigger bed. So anyway, moving right along. This, um, let me stand back a little bit. So this is a chest. I keep um, clothes, leggings, a bunch of stuff in here. Um, I do have a ton of clothes um, and this is really, really big and pretty tall. And then on top of it, I have some decor, um, this beautiful fish my mom got at the thrift store and the vase I actually got at Home Goods. And then this thing, um, I guess, I don't know, I get it. The label said wall sconces but um i don't know this really doesn't look like wall sconces but i guess it is and then it has like little candle holders in there i would definitely not like those candles because it will probably set a fire um with it being so close to the wall so i wouldn't play like that and then i just have a candle and then another little vase and pompous grass and then some books more candles and then this mirror um this is actually not just a mirror it's a, it's my jewelry box so all of my well, not all of most of my jewelry 
is inside this jewelry box. I don't want to open it because it's a hot mess in there. Let me see, because stuff is probably going to start falling out. Let me carefully open it. Okay. So, this is what we are working with. This is like a lot of my jewelry. This is how I keep it somewhat organized. You can see it's not fully organized, but this is what I'm working with right now. I do have a lot of jewelry. Um, yeah, so that's how I keep it organized and out of the way. And nobody would ever know that this is a jewelry box with all this bullshit in it as long as the door closed. As long as the door is closed, it just looks like a pretty mirror. Okay, so this is my dresser. And um, it has the same carvings like the bed and the chest. Um, I just have like underwear and swimsuits in here. Um, and then on top of the dresser, I have this cute little um, mermaid. It's actually bookends. I think I ordered her from Target. And then I have a Forever Wick candle. And then I have a Venus of Willendorf replica. If you guys don't know about the Venus of Willendorf, please do your research on art history. Um, anyway, yeah, and I just have some books here and some cute little candle holders here. And then I have my TV mounted right above the dresser. And then this is a moon shelf and I have all of my crystals on here. So yeah, this is where I store all of my crystals. There's like quite a few of them. Um, yeah, and this is where I keep them. And then over here in this corner, this is a fan. I have the remote top um, tape to the top of it so I won't lose the remote. But yeah, this is a fan. Um, and then on the floor, there's an air purifier. Um, also, there is a cowhide rug on the floor, but you can't see it because most of it is under the bed um because this room is so small this is a cabinet that i got from ikea and it just has some more shoes in it because i do have a ton of shoes and then um on this um cabinet this is a book this is the heidi fleiss book the pandering book um this was a gift from my grandmother years ago probably like 20 years ago um, I really like Heidi Fleiss, so when this book released, um, my grandmother bought it for me as a, I think a birthday gift or a graduation gift, I don't remember. And then I just have some candles here, and then I also have my, um, lighter. This is an electric lighter, and then I have a wick trimmer and a candle snuffer, just all my candle supplies here. And I have another smaller replica of the Venus of Willendorf. I have um, this vase, um, actually two, and then I have more pompous grass in those. And then this mirror. I really, really love this mirror. It came from Home Goods. There's a whole story about this mirror. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to tell the story, but bottom line, it wouldn't fit in my car. And I cried um, in the parking lot of Home Goods. But anyway. And then this is my window and we're gonna keep that closed because don't want you guys to see where I live. And then over here, this is some artwork I ordered from Etsy. It just has the different moon phases. Um, yeah, it just has the different moon phases and I ordered um, this from Etsy and the frames I believe came from Marshalls. And then, um, there's a chair here, um, just a gray chair that I got from Wayfair. Hello, I think I got this from Society6. And then this is a yoga blanket. And then over here, um, another lamp, the same pineapple lamp that was on the other side. And then under there is another Echo device. And then, um, my old record player that I don't use anymore and my old computer that I don't use anymore. Um, 
And this is a lamp. It's a Himalayan salt lamp, but when you take that part off, it's also a light, like a night light. Um, I don't know, when it gets dark, I might show you guys what it looks like in here at night, um, just for fun. And that is pretty much it. You guys have seen my whole apartment. Um, like I said, it's super small in here. It's only 700 square feet but my goal was to make it as comfy as possible and i think i did anyway make sure you guys leave me some comments thumbs up the video and i will keep more content coming anyway talk to you guys later okay so it's now hours later from the original video but I told you guys I was gonna show you what the night lights look like. So um, let's um, shut off the lights so you can see. I set it to blue, but you can change them to any color. Um, there's one on each side of the bed. But anyway, without further ado, let me show you what they look like. Alexa, turn off all lights. There we go. So it projects onto the walls and onto the ceilings. And I think it's just like a cool little aesthetic to the room. What do you guys think?